On. We've now got our next panel and open mic um, uh, session. This is on economic opportunities. You'll be familiar with the format now. We have scene setters and we have panelists uh, and moderator. So our scene setters on making the most of economic, uh, economic opportunities. Uh, both of these gentlemen are involved with uh, commission studies that Internet NZ has done. Uh, and kicking us off first is Dave Grimmond, who is a director and principal of Infometrics. Step. Ah, brilliant, thank you. Um, so what I'm going to talk about is the uh, economic impact of the internet. This was a study that we were asked to look at by Internet New Zealand and effectively what I'm talking about is some of the concepts um, and also what um, the literature tells us about um, and what people have done, found so far. To begin with, and this has been covered quite well by our two previous speakers, is that, uh, the idea to think of the internet as a general purpose technology. And by general purpose technology, we're talking about something that is pervasive, it's, it, it impacts on uh, throughout the whole of society. It's dynamic, it's always changing, and it complements other advances. And um, Vikram talked about um, the car. I get one that the internet has been often um, related to is uh, the telegraph uh, back in the 19th century. Um, both have information, um, about information sharing, uh, they both gained rapid global adoption, uh, general and informal communication channels, um, redefined business uh, practice and challenged regulatory regimes, all the types of things that have uh, just been uh, discussed. And um, in this way, you can also the way that they have a dynamic sense, um, you can think of the telegraph was linked with um, electricity development and the invention of the telephone. With the internet, it came a lot of it due to the uh, developments of the computer, and it's also linked at the moment going forward about a lot of mobile uh, telephone developments. And if you take everything way back, you may say that all of them are connected to the uh, invention of um, electricity. One of the things about uh, general, um, sorry, about GBTs is that they, um, from an economic sense is they change the location of economic value in the sense that the pre a new technology coming on, on board, um, the existing businesses have invested a lot in the old technology. Along comes a new technology and we've talked about this uh, uh, um, inability or resistance to change and also that you have a lot of, that tends to be in the existing businesses. The growth comes from the new businesses. And one of the effects of that is that a lot of the um, is associated with large stock market um, shocks, and we talked about the dot com uh, boom and bust. And effectively, what's happening there is that you have um, existing uh, firms have not bought into the internet. Uh, the developments come from outside the internet. The value is uh, climbs in the outside the stock market and the value of the uh, companies in the stock market plummet until there's a change of who is actually in the stock market. And that's why we get things like the Facebook being in the st stock market, um, whereas before it wasn't there. The other um, side of things is that, um, and something special from the internet, is, that, uh, is the network externalities which accentuate the, the land rush, why this has been quite a special one. And this is, relates to the fact that if you have a, um, let's go back, if you have a, a network with say four members, there's 12 potential interactions between them, A to B, B to A, C to D. You add one extra unit to that network, you create another eight potential interactions. So th there's a kind of exponential relationship and what that means is that there's huge first, um, internet profits, huge first mover advantages. And this is the reason why we get things like TradeMe doing so well in New Zealand. They were the first in the market, they had a successful product, it was a product that people liked, but it's very difficult for um, others to come in. Because if you want to sell your stuff, you want to ha um, put your, advertise your stuff, you want to advertise it in an area where you know there's a lot of people looking. This is the reason why Trade Me is successful here and eBay before finds it very difficult to get here. It also means is the reason why Trade Me is probably stuck in New Zealand and um, it's, it will be very hard to go into another developed um, uh, market. The only place that where Trade Me can grow outside of New Zealand will be in some other emerging market where there isn't a successful model at the moment. 
Okay, how does the internet help uh, econ the economy? First, it increases the efficiency of production by reducing costs of finding and using shared information. The second one, though, I think is more important. It's how it enhances the way that the economy matches what is produced and what people desire. Um, so I'm having problems here. Okay. okay. The first is about lowering the cost of production. The second is about choosing what we uh, what we is about enhancing choice. And then we're looking at the measurement and analysis that's happened. Um, there's a lot of it is focused on the first about um, how we've lowered production, how the internet has lowered production costs. But enhancing choice, getting a better match about what you want to consume with what you, is available and what is produced is, is probably going to have a more profound impact. Enhancing choice, um, the internet rate, um, and the reason why this has a, a, a big impact is that it, it raises returns on capital. If you actually produce more what people want to consume, you're getting a higher return on your capital. Um, which leads to um, greater capital accumulation and then a greater long run growth. Um, this is uh, presented in a bit more detail in my paper, uh, I don't have time really to go through this. But measuring this impact is very difficult. Uh, it's difficult because we're talking about a very complex relationship between uh, slowly, um, you know, the, the, where you get a some increase in choice, finally leading through to um, a return on capital and a, a general improvement. There's also lots of other things happening. At the moment, we think that the internet is probably having these positive impacts, but we're also having financial crises, so it's very hard to work out exactly where the internet is doing it. And also that this impact can take decades to take place, and so um, it takes a, a long time to actually measure the cause to the effect. So what has been done um, in measuring is um, the studies that we looked at were f fairly un unsatisfactory, I'd say, in general. Um, there's errors in measuring the extent of the internet activities. It's for new activities, the stats are not very good at covering it. Many studies had a very narrow focus and used quite simple methods because of the lack of stats. Um, there's, in there's insufficient time to analyse the full impacts because, you know, this. Um, the full impact can take decades and uh, run into probably the second decade of the internet. Um, and there's no satisfactory estimates of uh, the long-term impacts on growth that come from a better match between what one wants and what is produced. However, from the studies that we have seen, they we are still seeing quite profound impacts. Probably the best study I've seen looking at the productivity impact suggests that um, the internet has had a 5 to 9% um, impact on economic activity. It's a 10% growth almost in economic growth, uh, activity. On top of that, there's a gain to, uh, from what's called consumer surplus, which is basically the gain you get as a consumer where you can buy something uh, for cheaper than what you were willing to pay for it. And they, that could add another half percent to, of, to GDP. However, as I said, none of this has actually looked at the fact that we are getting more of the, what we want to produce uh, to consume rather than... Uh, what uh, companies would like us to buy. Um, with the positive, there's some uh, negatives and potential issues um, is that one of the things that uh, has surprised a lot of uh, economists is the fact that the amount of price dispersion on the internet has still remained very high. There isn't just one price for one product. Um, sorry about this one. Uh, from a fiscal perspective, um, there's uh, uh, if you buy stuff from overseas on the internet, there's a risk that that's uh, eroding the GST base. I would actually argue that that's actually a problem with the tax base and nothing to do with the internet. Um, internet-based crime, which we just mentioned, has changed the, um, the way and in in sense of um, being from a group of, well, basically the legal systems and, and policing ca can't keep up with this new form of uh, crim criminal activity. Um, there's been early, at least especially in the early stages of the internet, there's some thoughts that the benefits uh, were less prevalent uh, in poorer countries. Um, that could well be changing right now because of the impact of mobile phones and the internet going through that rather than the need of uh, hardwire um, infrastructure. Um, some thoughts that most uh, the benefits um, are going more to big cities and therefore leading to uh, 
but larger concentration of cities. That's not saying that benefits don't go outside of the cities, it's just that one of the, the, the biggest impact comes through um, the, the labour market. You, internet requires skilled workers and therefore the, you can find more skilled workers in a concentrated city than you do in a dispersed population. Therefore, f people at firms are more likely to begin and uh, set up in uh, cities. Um, and so I'm having. And uh, as also the uh, issues with intellectual property and copyright, which we've just been uh, heard so much. Well, so in summary, um, the analysis does suggest that we have profound impacts of the internet on economic well-being. We're talking about at least 10% that we can measure. But probably this still understates uh, the full impact by quite a considerable amount. Um, and but like other major technology changes, these welfare gains have been accompanied by other disruptive impacts on society. <laughs>